can hear me right yes so, okay great so today we are talking about stack and staggered microviews uh, and really overall how to optimize your design for manufacturing and uh it's really, uh, I'm going to start with a little bit of a preamble. It's really a partnership between design engineers and the manufacturer to get the stack upright and how, what is the build strategy uh, going to be, especially for a complex stack up. So I say this all the time, but it's really important to talk to your manufacturer as early as possible with what you're trying to do as you're making your critical stack up decisions. So today uh, we have a lot in store for you. It's about an hour. Uh, I really enjoy questions, ask, ask away. And uh, we have a team of people here to answer. And if there's anything we can't answer, which does happen from time to time, we will talk to process engineers to get back to you with a more thorough uh, answer. One thing about Sierra, so some exciting things are happening at Sierra. We've been a prototype manufacturer uh, for about 30 years in California, uh, sunny Sunnyvale, California. We last year uh, acquired a production facility in Oak Creek, Wisconsin, which allows us to manufacture larger volumes um, and at a lower cost. And the right uh, type of business for that is still like higher value production, uh, but uh, you know, NADCAP certification requirements or ITAR certifications or you know specialty boards, but more at a volume stage. And we also have volume assembly as well, uh, prototype and volume assembly. So a lot of good things happening at Sierra to help customers along their journey from prototype to production. So we're very excited about all those things. Uh, here's the table of contents for today. In the beginning, we'll just go over some basics, but very quickly, and then we'll go into some design tools that we offer free on our website, and then talk about some examples of stack ups and how our build strategy is for those stack ups. According to the IPC, a standard for interconnection is a, in the circuit board. Microvia is a blind structure uh, that with a one-to-one -one aspect ratio and a diameter of less than 150 microns or uh, six mils. So why do we talk about microvias? There's a lot of advantages to microvias if done properly. Um, even with the ability to reduce cost. In addition, microvias can bring down the signal reflections and crosstalk due to overall shorter signal paths. So there's lots of advantages of microvias. So when creating a microvia, you can use a mechanical drill and you can also use a laser drill. Laser drill is most often preferred a little bit more precise in the control depth drill. It basically stops at the next copper layer. And it also provides a V shape, which is easier for plating. Laser drills are not a end all be all, but they're the most common way to form a microvia. One uh, disadvantage is that if you're laser drilling through multiple different material types, it's hard to get the right, um, let's say, power in it that you should be using for your laser. So you have to be careful with that. And again, we're stopping at the copper beneath, so there's some disadvantage there. Um, but overall, it's the right approach or the most right approach. Aspect ratio is really important for plating, uh, not so much for drilling. And the ratio is basically the ratio between the drill depth and the diameter of the drilled hole. The ideal aspect ratio 
according to IPC is one to one. We offer one to one only on select areas or select situations. We prefer 0.75 to one. So if you consider the dielectric of a three mil thickness, the drill diameter can be calculated by using the formula that we show. Your drill diameter would be four, um, and it can be larger, but a minimum of four. The staggered vias are always better than stacked for many reasons. Uh, the two reasons that I can say right now are that um, it's less process steps and less process steps means less yield loss uh, and less, less cost. But you have to make sure that your design is suitable for staggered microbias. Um, so for a staggered via really to be possible, the vertical separation between the centers of the two microbias must be greater than the whole diameter. So at least two mils of spacing. If you stagger, in this case, this via here does not need to be filled. And this via here, if it's, let's say, under an SMT pad, can be filled. Now you're saving a step of filling this via here. So some pros and cons of staggered vias. So when you're staggering the via, the drill positions are optimally spaced apart. This can reduce crosstalk and signal reflections. And staggered vias ensure the design's longevity um, because you can stand more thermal cycles. And there are tests that prove that. And I think that's now common knowledge for people who are really involved with stacked microvias. So the con is you do require more space compared to stack vias. I think the other con is that it's a little bit tougher to design. You can't just create a drill structure in your design tool that's, let's say, from layer one to three. You have to have multiple or more drill structures and more drill files. If you're not using uh, ODD or IPC 2581, you would end up sending us more, you know, separate drill files for each layer. And those can be missed or by you, I mean, not by us. Okay. So what are the manufacturing considerations for stack vias? So stack vias consist of two annular rings on top, on the top and the bottom. The upper one signifies the precise hole registration and the bottom one is used for the electrical connection. So you have to fill copper fill to prevent voids and according to the IPC 6012D, a void is acceptable if it doesn't exceed 25% area of the filled microbia. Now you obviously don't want voids and you don't want solution in there, but it is acceptable to IPC. And uh, stack vias ensure a uniform impedance, so that could be an advantage. Um, the reliability is impacted when pressure is exerted on the microwave from the Z axis of the dielectric. So this is, you know, the typical mismatch of CTE of the materials, which is dielectric and copper. You have to pay more close attention to that. Um, So the greater the number of stack vias, the higher the cost and the more chance of a separation uh, during uh, thermal excursions. So you have to be very careful about that. So these are the pros and cons. I'm gonna take a quick break and hand it over um, to uh, our software team. And from there, uh, Vandana can give a quick demo.